Hello, good morning and welcome. This is forexforsteadyprofit.com. Um, we use the Commitment of Traders report and the RSI to time our entry into the markets. And I'll show you the Commitment of Traders report and show how we use it on the, um, on the charts. Okay, I'll just take you there now. Okay, this is the Commitment of Traders report uh, in a graph form. So as we can see the history and the positions of the commercials here in red and the speculators in green. And what we're looking for is the commercials to take an opposite position to the speculators in an extreme position. As you can see from the past, whenever this has happened, you've had a sell off. Um, and what I use then is the RSI uh, to time my positions in. We've had this really large divergence here and I can go back years and it's, it's sort of like um, an extreme position. So I'm expecting to see a very big sell off, but we use the RSI just to time the position in. Okay, so this is the uh, Australian dollar, US dollar chart for the same period. And we were looking for the Australian dollar to short against the US dollar. And uh, from the, um, <clears throat> From the RSI chart, we put a trend line up and uh, when we got a break, um, we we actually went short and uh, we got this nice move down here. Uh, the RSI came down, uh, it, it sort of went up again and we got another high there, which got broken and we got this uh, very big uh, move down. Uh, and then uh, we had another move back up and um, we got a sell signal here, which gave us another move back down. Um, on, on the uh, member center, I do a divergence chart. Um, I've got a divergence calculator, which I use on the crosses, and the crosses give us a slightly better uh, result, I, I believe. But um, anyway, that's the way I use the CFTC and the RSI uh, combined to give me uh, my entry positions. Um, and uh, we'll be looking at that over the coming weeks. Hello, good morning and welcome. It's the uh, 5th of November, bonfire night, and um, we'll start as ever with the Australian dollar. Um, well, we've had an extreme um, oversold position for uh, the commercials on the Australian dollar. Uh, we've started falling and uh, basically the uh, commercials have started uh, uh, selling off their shorts. Uh, I expect quite a lot more downside on this. In fact, uh, on Friday, I noticed there was quite a fall in the last five or 10 minutes uh, for people selling off longs perhaps. Uh, and that gives me a, a fairly good idea that uh, we're gonna see quite a lot of movement on this this week. Um, if you look at a three year chart on this, uh, you can see at what an extreme uh, the commercials still are bearish of uh, this pair. And so here we go, British pound. Whoops. British pound. Uh, again, I think I'm going to look at a three year chart. And this does show you um, quite how bearish the uh, the commercials are it's uh, sort of more or less uh, a, a three year uh, bearish scenario i'm expecting a little bit more downside for the pound um, and then i'm going to take a view on it when it gets down to about 129 but uh, against the dollar i'm bearish of this canadian dollar uh, yeah i think we've got to look again at perhaps a three year chart and you can see how bearish the commercials are uh, over three years um, on on this uh, on this uh, currency. So I am looking for even more downside uh, to this. And I, I think this is going to be uh, a trend uh, that's going to continue for about nine months. But uh, you know, forex is never definite, and things can change. Uh, but we do have a lot of potential. Uh, on uh, the Canadian dollar for shorting. Um, the, the oil price is holding this up a bit at the moment. The euro, 
uh, again, I think I'll go to a three year chart. And you can still see the commercials are as bearish, uh, you know, three year uh, extreme bearish. Um, again, um, I, I believe this is going to be a long term downtrend. Um, so uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for movement down on the euro. I'll be using the RSI and what have you, other tools just to. Uh, and again, we will look at a three year chart on the Japanese yen. So you can see on this three year chart every time that uh, the commercials have been uh, long over the 150 that we've had this huge uptrend in the um, in the Japanese yen and uh, we are at uh, a bullish extreme at the moment so uh, I am expecting uh, quite a lot of strength in the next two or three weeks for the yen uh, I've got some quite nice positions on there so um, Swiss franc uh, this is very interesting if you look at uh, the Swiss franc over the last 12 months uh, it's been down just below the zero line and now it is up around the 40,000 contracts um, and this week it has had I, I believe somebody's mentioned uh, about a 25% jump and this is the commercials I, it doesn't look like the uh, speculator have jumped quite so much but the commercials have jumped up about 25% uh, that is, um, if, whenever I talk about a percentage increase, it's looking at the lows and the highs. And uh, if I'm talking about a jump, then it's the percentage that it goes up against the yearly high and low. So <clears throat> it's had a 25% jump. Uh, there might be a little bit more downside in this over the next couple of weeks, but I see strength following through. I've got some quite good positions on the Swiss franc and... Uh, uh, you know, it, it, as I start winning, I'm going to be adding to it because I see a lot of potential in, in that currency. Mexican peso. Um, we've come off the highs. We've fallen nicely. We've had a little bit of a pullback. I, I'm expecting it to follow through. Um, I, I've got still got a trade on there. I've got one that's uh, nicely into profit. And I've got another one that's not far away. So, um hopefully that will continue in my direction New Zealand dollar uh, we've actually gone below the zero and we've actually got a little bit bullish this week I do believe that there's still a little bit more downside in this but we are coming towards the end and uh, you know we're at yearly lows um, I, I think we might see uh, at least one more push to the downside. Uh, so that, that's where I, I, I feel I am with that. Crude oil. We're very bearish as far as I'm concerned. Crude oil, I actually have a trade in, as you probably know. Um, uh, I, I put a, a third of my position, I got knocked out, so I put a third of my position back in and I've actually gained a little bit on position. Uh, I, I believe this is going down. It's uh, at, at fresh highs. Uh, we can look at the three year chart. Um, but you can see that this is about as bearish as it has been for a long while. So, um, yep, and the, the fall and fall of, uh, of oil, uh, silver. Right, uh, again, I am bearish of this. I'm going to look at a three year chart. Um, I have got my trade in I'm a little bit out of profit at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for this to go down. Uh, basically, um, we've got a, a fair divergence between uh, the commercials and the speculators. And uh, I'm looking for a fall in the price of the silver. I'm also looking for a fall in the price of um, sorry, um, I'm looking for the dollar to go up, uh, and that will actually give me um, weakness on the uh, on the silver stock indices. We'll have a quick look at these. Gone S and P. That's got a nice big uh, bearish 
you know, <laughs> um, I, I've actually put a trend line on the S and P uh, uh, on a weekly chart, uh, so I'll just be keeping my eye on that. But um, uh, it's coming very close to uh, crossing it. Um, Nasdaq, there, you know, we, we've had this big candle up. Um, what was overbought is now mega overbought, in my humble opinion, and uh, we're going to see a crash in that. Uh, Dow Jones. Again, it is. Let's put it on a three-year chart. Have a quick look. Yeah, well, you know, uh, that about says it, doesn't it? Um, uh, the markets. Uh, well, I don't know when it's going to happen, but uh, I'm very bearish of that. Again, let's uh, stick to a three-year chart. It, it looks like we had a run on stops <laughs> about there. And it crashed down. That was a massive. That's like about a fifty percent move. <clears throat> so, um, still looking for more downside on that, personally. Ah, right. We don't have comm commitments of traders for the S and P four hundred. So, uh, oh, the other thing that's quite interesting is the two year note. Um, and again, uh, look at uh, I think a three year or a two year chart on that. Here we go two years maybe. No, three years. Um, you can see uh, we are at a um, a bullish uh, stance on the two-year note. <clears throat> this is extreme bullish. We've come off the highs, and uh, you know it is still really, really bullish for the uh, two-year note. Okay, well, thank you all for watching, and um, hopefully see you again on Monday. Cheers now.